Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII Bull... Ah, oh, I got trolled. Blind. So, in the last episode, I assumed we were going to be heading up this ladder of ricketiness, but it turns out we weren't. The ladder was just there to fall over and make you feel like you got screwed out of something. We are now being attacked by whatever these things are. Um, I don't know how to feel about this. Um, card? Maybe I can try to card one of them? And then draw some scans? Why not? Well, he's super dead, so I guess card's not gonna work on that one. No, it didn't work there either. Hmm. Oh, and the draw target didn't change? Are you kidding me? Darn. Uh, okay, well... That's kinda neat. That's kinda neat that you can just, like... Oh, he's super dead! How am I gonna even draw something from this guy, or turn him into a card, rather, if he just dies immediately? Yeah, how am I ever gonna be able to card this bat when he just explodes in the fist of death? Dead? Dead. Yeah, well, okay, whatever, he's done. I don't want his card anyway. Maybe I already have it. I don't know, it doesn't matter anyway. He's done. And he gave me three stones, and I got some level ups and Ifrit learned Junction. So, ooh, vibration. Mm. Um, because Ifrit learned his new thing. I'm going to change what he's learning now. Um, let's learn Mad Rush. I've been learning a lot of Junction stuff lately, and that's all well and good, but let's check ourselves before we wreck ourselves, you know? Um, my current HP is what? 702? Zombie brings it up to 734 at least, so let's do that. Um, okay, so I thought I was about to get out of the, out of this place, out of the sewers, but it turns out that we're not. I see a magazine over there. I admit I am interested, wait, Twistus, you're on the other side of the bar. You are, like, look at your sprite. The bar, okay, whatever, I give up. Um, I give up on trying to explain that. So I'm gonna try to, like, maybe head through here, right? And then try to get on the other side of the sewer so I can head down and try to get to that magazine somehow. Um, I'm not sure how that's gonna work exactly, but I'm gonna try. Um, I guess it's gonna work like this, maybe? Can I? I can't run through! Okay, well, in that case, I might just be straboodled. I might be SOL on trying to figure out how to get that magazine. I feel like I want it. I don't know why, but I feel like I want it. Is there anything down here? No, no. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look here really quick and see what's up with this magazine. Um, there's no way to cross this water, even though, yeah, it's like maybe a foot deep. I guess Quistus is just too much of a wuss to do it. How do I get over there? I can't run past the save point. I actually can't get down from here now, even. Um, I couldn't go through the bar. Because if I want to get on the other side of this river, right, I'm going to have to do it by the save point. So I'm gonna run like I and that's what I tried. I tried to come over here and be like, okay, let's run past the save point. And like I'm mashing the X button and everything, I can't get through. So I guess it's just not meant to be. Oh, really? A battle here of all places? Oh yeah, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? I was like, okay, 
Let's attack with Zell, because he does less damage than Selfie does. Strategy number one. Strategy number two. Let's just click the circle button when Selfie's turn comes up, because we don't want to attack with her. And that will make it into Quistis' turn. And then with Quistis, let's cast Card, because any more attacks we do to this stupid red bat is going to murder it. That was like strategy on like eight different levels there. Also, I recognize where we are. That's really weird that it just happens to spit us out right here of all places and I can't get out. Okay. Well, I would like to go up then. Uh that was that was certainly unexpected and very convenient that that it brought us here. I know I just said that, but I'm saying it again because it's so true. How odd. All right, well, thankfully, there's a window up here we'll be able to see out of, and then we're going to want to hit a button when it's time for button pressing. I guess it's not time for... Oh, there we go, okay. Here we go. Irvine, get with it. We could actually just drop the gate right on top of her and just split her in half, you know? Just like drop the gate right on her face. Also, couldn't she just... She walked through a door earlier, just straight through the door, like without opening it. Couldn't she just walk through the gate... Then why were you assigned to our goddamn mission? If you can't do your stupid job! Give me that stupid rifle, I will shoot her! Yeah, if, th if that's what you need to get off, then do it. Just... Yes, 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 you will! You're right! Shoot! No, no, it's not. Okay, never mind. You're wrong. You will not go down in history. Just take the shot. Then give me the rifle. We don't have time for this nonsense right now. Couldn't we have gone through this monologue before we rose up through the skies into the... Yeah? I care. I care if he misses. Also, Squall is being very supportive right now. This is somewhat odd. I mean, encouraged. Like, I mean, that's good. But it is somewhat odd from Squall, of all people. Don't shoot into the air. At least point it at her. Why did the guy from the Gabadia, Galbadia Garden give Irvine to us? If he can't even make a shot. That's what I was afraid of. A sorceress's shield. Yeah, it's true. That wasn't your fault, Ir Irvine. There's nothing you could have done about her having a shield. So, this is going to go very well. Um, what could possibly go wrong here, actually? Um, I can't think of anything that's going to go wrong of us attacking a super powerful sorceress who can't even get sniped in the face with a sniper rifle. I mean, that sounds like a, a really ideal situation to find ourselves in. Um... Okay, so the junctions are at least junctioned properly here, it looks like. Uh, alright, let's... Go, then.
Nice! Nice jump. And this is some pretty good music we got going on here, too, I'm not gonna lie. Where did all the police come from all of a sudden? Okay, yeah, let's drive a car. We just jump through the fence? encouraged right now. This is not looking good for us. What, to be a traitor and murder your friends? Oh, well, apparently that's all that needed to be said. The time for monologues is done. Okay, Cypher, let's... Let's go. I guess. Okay. 238.5 damage or so. Uh, oh, I could, I could try to card him. Ooh, let, you know... Wait, did Carbova just target me? I'm kind of interested to just give Carbuncle a try. I want to see what... Carbuncle's up with. If it heals me, I'll be cool with that. Ruby Light. Sure, yeah, make make a make a hole right in the thing. Oh, is it giving me like shell or something? I actually have no idea what it just did. I haven't the foggiest idea what just happened. Uh, I want a high potion on the squall before anything bad happens. How much does that heal? Uh, a thousand. Cool. Good. That's gonna be a max heal at least. Um, beyond that, I mean, I guess I can try to physically attack. Um, oh, nice. I hit it. Uh, that does not do very much. Yeah, actually hitting it properly and only doing 65 damage. Is Cypher guarding, actually? I think he might be guarding. I missed it. I was on such a roll, too. Yeah, I think he was guarding. Wait, no, he's not. That's just a stupid pose. I missed it again. Nice, I at least got it that time. Uh, why can't I do very much damage? I feel like my attack should be higher than that. I had Reflect on. Well, pity he doesn't do magic, otherwise maybe that would have been useful. But I'm gonna use Ifrit here to, one, use some of Ifrit's HP as, as Cypher is attacking me, but also to see what kind of damage this does. Hopefully more. Can't escape. Why would I want to escape? Ah, oh, damn. Okay, well, at least I got back up to 130 or so, 129. Please do some damage. More damage than I was doing. 645? Okay, that's good. That That's, that's good. I'm happy with that. I feel like my strength should be higher. Okay, Cypher. I see you. I guess I could have won that just with attacks if I would have persevered. I just expected him to have way more HP than that. I like how I'm still just standing here on the front being like, with my arms down at my sides, completely casual.
Where'd the music go? Oh. Why? <laughs> Okay. Oh, they're here! Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do, now that I know what's up, is... Um, well, I guess let's try to draw. Oh, I should have drawn from... Oh, I didn't have draw for Cypher. So I guess it didn't end up mattering either. A double... Let's actually cast double on Renoa. Um, Irvine... I really don't care what you do. I guess try to summon brothers and see what happens. Just because I don't know exactly what they do. And then Carbuncle, thank you. That's exactly what I was hoping. I was hoping it was going to hit all of us. Um, now let's do double magic. Um, Thundara, I guess. And let's see what kind of damage magic damage does against the sorceress. 185, I mean, it's not terrible. It's not amazing. Uh, I'll be interested to see what the brothers do, and then I really want to have Reflect on from the Carbuncle as soon as possible. The brothers might die here. Oh no, they were- she was just attacking me. Okay, cool. Brotherly love? What? <laughs> see ya! Are they playing rock, paper, scissors? I th <laughs> what in the world? Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Why wouldn't... Those brothers are just ridiculous in every single possible way. Uh, magic... Wait, I have double again? Really? Okay, sure. Um... I don't know what I want to do, actually. I guess Blizzaga? Why the heck not? Okay, so now I have Reflect on my entire party, which I'm thinking will be good because she uses a lot of magic. And Reflect should reflect the magic onto her, right? I'm thinking, at least, that it will. That sounds like something Reflect should do. If you're picking up what I'm throwing down. Ooh, Blizzaga's way better than Thundara. Oh, yeah. Or Thundaga. Was that Thundara or Thundaga? <laughs> that was pathetic. Uh, that was pathetic. 20, 20 damage? Astral Punch? Yeah, okay. I guess I'll try to turn her into a card. There's no way it's gonna work. But hey, I mean, it was worth a shot. Renoa, you- Oh, you're dispelling me! That is actually not cool. And I really don't appreciate it. Um, let's Diablos her to figure out what kind of HP she has. And then I think I'm gonna Carbuncle again. Um, because then, like right now, for example, she appears to be dispelling everything before doing anything else, right? So, if that's the case, I can get her to just always be dispelling if I just cast Carbuncle over and over again. Because she won't do anything until she dispels all the reflects. So maybe I'll be able to, like, trap her AI that way. And then this Diablos will give me uh, an idea of how much farther I need to go before she's dead. I'm thinking I just cast a double on Renoa, right? I'm thinking a couple more Blizzagas will probably finish her off. Those do 300-some-odd damage each, which is which seems fairly significant to me, at least. So this will do one-fourth of her HP, I think it does, and it missed. Really? That doesn't seem right. But okay, whatever. Um, hopefully Carbuncle gets off before her next attack. Uh, it did. Cool. Okay. So then, when Irvine, you're gonna come up first. Um, I guess I just want to physically attack with Irvine then. And then Renoa will cast Double Blizzaga, and we'll see what happens. I do like having Reflect on, that makes me feel relatively safe. Because I feel like she could kind of mess me up pretty fast with her magic. So, um, magic double Blizzaga. No, it was Thundara, that's why it only did 150 or so. I was thinking it was Thundaga. And the dispels are already coming. But hopefully these Blizzagas might finish her off. 
which would make me feel really good. 326. Should be another 330 or something. 342, okay. Done? Done? Not done. Uh, ooh, in that case, I don't know what I want. Uh, attack, I guess. Magic. Okay, uh, draw on her. Double cast on Renoa. Magic, double. Ooh, I don't have anything else. Um, all I have is my Thundaras, actually. Which is kind of bad. Um... No. I actually kind of don't know what to do here. 111, that's better. Magic, double, Thundara, Thundara. I mean, that's my- that's the most damage I can do, for sure. Okay, so that's another 340 or so. 440. I'm thinking she should be done soon. I've done 2,000 some odd damage. Uh, magic, double, Thundara, Thundara. And here comes the dispels again. So in that case, I should probably carbuncle and then attack. Like, that carbuncle seems like a pretty decent strategy, really. It's stopping her from attacking. In any meaningful way, at least. Try bio, just because I don't know exactly what that is, but yeah, look how powerful that attack was. Just, just he's just like, yeah, yo. Ooh, he has some good attacks. I guess I'll try Blizzaga here. Ooh, B bio is good. I almost called it Bio for some reason. Okay, Irvine, let's see what kind of magic your magic does. Magic is as magic does, after all. 275, that's not bad. I'm really hoping Carbuncle gets off before Annette's attack. If she Faragas, nice. I was gonna say, because if she Faragas Irvine right now, Irvine's dead. Um, Renoa, I want you to draw from a Dia. Take double, cast it on Irvine. And then Irvine, I want you to Blizzaga Blizzaga. Magic's pretty good, yo. Especially these higher level magics, at least at, like, the level that I'm at currently. Uh, double, 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 double. Dub, dub, double? Oh, 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 oh! I can't cast double on Irvine because he has Reflect on. So it's casting it on Adia instead. Which is severely problematic. Okay, I think she's done. Okay, cool, cool. We made it. 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 That was kind of sketchy, though, there at the end, with me not realizing what was going on exactly with the stuff and stuff, you know? Whew. Okay. Okay. What? Oh, ooh. Ice spears. Let's dodge. Well, that wasn't through the heart. The heart's on the other side. Unless Squall is moving. Save? Yes, I would, I would love to save. Okay. Well... Hopefully we're not dead. That would... suck. <laughs> really? Okay. 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 Insert disc two. I, I see what you're doing there. You picked a good- you picked a good point to end the disc. 
All right, guys. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII Blind, we will insert disc two and we will continue our adventures. We'll figure out if we're dead or not, hopefully. Um, hopefully we're not dead. That would be kind of terrible if your main character died 25% of the way through. But hey, hey, you never know. Either way, uh, that was pretty tense, getting through with the sorceress and everything, but we managed to, to get it all sorted out, and we managed to complete disc one. So we should be, what, 25% of the way through? If each, each disc is actually even in the content that it holds? So, until next time, thank you guys so very much for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.